Good morning, Sharon High. Welcome to Faculty Friday on Eagle News. I am Ms. Hershon from the Athletic Department and from the front office as a secretary. Some kids call me Mom, some kids call me Tracy, some kids call me Ms. Hershon. Today is December 6th, it is day A, and it is, it is day C, I'm sorry, day C. The Post program will be selling scarves for $10 at lunches next Monday and Wednesday, December 9th and 11th. These scarves make great gifts and benefit the Post program here at Sharon High School. Are you interested in playing football or know someone who is? The Sharon High football team has started off-season off training in the weight room. Come by every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. For more information, talk to Coach Morse. Rec basketball signups for freshmen and sophomore boys are ending on Thursday, December 12th. If you are interested in playing, please make sure to sign up on the Sharon Rec website as soon as possible. This is the last call for contributions to this week's Mars and Gold question. Pizza market or town spa? Look for forms at lunch to contribute your answer. What do you think? Pizza market or town spa? Hmm. I might have to go with town spa. Town spa. As you may know, many Sharon High School students today are participating in the international climate strike. Here's a quick look back at September's demonstration. Hi, I'm Drew Garcia, reporting from Sharon Eagle News outside Angels Cafe in Sharon Center. Senior Sebastian Armstrong and Elisa Van Dyke were happy with the turnout. So I think there's a pretty good turnout. I'm expecting around 100 people are going to come today. We were debating whether having a protest in front of the school was a good idea in the first place, like when people actually showed up. And then people did show up, and it's really heartwarming to see so many people standing together. Sharon High students went because they believe climate will be a big factor in their future. I'm here to support the world and potentially save it and cause impact for people that have knowledge of what's going on around the world currently and hopefully it'll influence some change among many. The purpose is to pressure the government into changing its system, making it more uh, environmentally friendly. I mean, it's a pretty important thing, and I think it's good to show, like, I'm, I consider myself a political conservative, so I think it's good to show that there's, you know, bipartisan support for all this. Also, you know, it's just important to talk about the, uh, the environment in today's age, and um, support my friends. Because I care about my planet and my future, most of all. This is Drew Garcia, signing off from Sharon Eagle News. Look for an update on today's climate strike soon on Eagle News. That's it for today's announcements. Thank you for joining us on this Faculty Friday. Have a great weekend. Sharon High.